Hello everyone, my name is Yui, the co-founder of the Center of Finance, Technology and Entrepreneurship. And I'm Huey as well, but here's the twist. One of us is an AI deepfake and one of us is real. Pretty impressive, no? Can you spot who's the AI? Well, I'm going to show you how to create your very own AI deepfake in just three simple steps. By the end of this video, you'll be able to tell which version of me is the AI and which one is real. Let's get started. Hello, and uh, welcome to this video where I will show you how to create a very good quality avatar or deepfake of yourself with very good video, very good audio, very quickly, and very cheaply. Sounds good? Okay, so let's start right away. There will be three parts to this video. First one is about our experience at CFT of using artificial intelligence for deep fakes and avatars. Second part will be about very quick overview of the approaches to generate videos and audios. And the third part, I'll take you through the step-by-step -step how to create your own video and your own audio. So let's start right away and let's talk about our experience at CFT. So CFT, we're a global fintech education platform, so AI is at the core of what we do. Five years ago, I was one of the co-program director of AI in finance that became one of the largest certifications of AI in finance between CFT and Nian Polytechnic in Singapore. And at that time, what we were saying, the, one of the titles of the course was that artificial intelligence was the single most important technology impacting financial services. Of course, it became much more than that. In fact, it's impacted pretty much all sectors, but that was our starting point. And as the starting point, of course, we tried to look at how to use AI for ourselves. One of the big use cases was around recording, because we have around 500 experts teaching on our platforms and they're everywhere around the world, from Asia to Europe to Africa to the US to uh, South America. So they're everywhere around the world. So for example, in terms of budget, one of our big cost centers is really around filming and travel. So why not use AI to actually have virtual lectures? So this is what we did in 2020. In 2020, we created a deep fake of Janos Barberis. Janos, CEO of Supercharger, the largest fintech accelerator in Asia out of Hong Kong, and at that time, head of entrepreneurship of CFT. And he was teaching a course, which was actually quite interesting, big tech in finance. So we thought big tech in finance, why not use AI? Let me show you the result first, and I'll tell you how we did it. So what does this all mean for financial services? Regulators are very concerned about the entry of big tech into finance, and a large series of reports are now being generated on the topic. This graph shows the stages of regulation when looking at financial services firm. There are three distinct segments here. Too small to care, too large to ignore, and too big to fail. So in this video, it is not Janos. Janos has never been filmed for this video. It's AI generated, and it is not Yano's voice. It is actually the voice of Elijah, one of the colleagues at CFT. How did we do it? In order to do it, at that time, it wasn't that easy. It was first a very lengthy. We used a company called Synthesia, which you know, since then you know, has grown a lot in the space. And in order to record Yano's, we had to record Yano's on a green screen with two different cameras in order to have different angles of Yanos. From those recordings, Synthesia created a deep fake for Yanos. At that time, we didn't find a good audio, a good way to create an audio of Yanos, and that's the reason why we used someone else's voice to create his voice. Overall, it was a process which I think is of good quality in terms of the video, 
we didn't really find something that was good for the audio. It was quite expensive. It cost a thousand pounds, a bit more than a thousand pounds to get this video and quite lengthy, but still not bad for something from 2020. Since then, we have used other types of technologies and not just for deep fakes, but also for avatars. Let me show you this one. Welcome everyone. I am Zelda, CFTE's AI and your assistant in this program. I'm thrilled to have you here today as we embark on an exciting learning journey together. Whether you're a novice exploring the fascinating world of blockchain or a seasoned finance professional looking to deepen your... So the approach here is really different. We're not trying to replicate someone like Janos. We used an avatar, which is also provided by Synthesia. So we used an avatar and they have a whole list of avatars which can be used uh, with her uh, physical shape, her voice, you know, et cetera. So totally computer generated. And here we use the avatar as a teaching assistant in our course in order to support the students. So our experience at CFT over the last few years, we have used artificial intelligence since 2020 to create deep fakes. Results really, really impressive because not a single person out of the hundreds who took the course knew that it was computer generated. So really convincing. At that time, quite expensive and long in terms of the process. But now, for example, like Zelda that you see here, very, very easy to use, not as a deep fake, but as an avatar. What we'll be interested in here in the next um, few minutes is really around deep fake more than avatars. So it's not about creating something which doesn't exist. It's more about how can I create a virtual representation of myself that sounds and looks credible, which is much, much harder. So I'll show you how. But first, let's try to understand the different ways to create this virtual representation. So a very quick section to understand how we can generate a virtual representation of yourself, in other words, a deep fake. In order to do that, there are mainly two different parts. First, that avatar, that deep fake has to look like you. So that's the video. It's not just a picture. So that will be an animated video. And at the same time, the voice, the audio would have to sound like you. At the moment, you might have, or you would have systems that can do both. They tend to be very, very expensive. Sometimes it's better to use separate systems for the video and the audio. I will show you how. So first, let's have a look at the video. You have at least three different ways to create a virtual representation of you in terms of video. First, you can start from a picture. So a picture of yourself and the AI will animate your picture. You can start from your video. So you will provide to the AI a video of yourself. The AI will learn from that video. And after that, uh, we'll create another video. Or you can start from someone else's video and swap your face to that person. So those are the three different types of approaches. The one that we will use, which is perhaps you know, that provides the best quality is starting from your own video to create a video which is similar. But I'll show you first how you can start from a picture and how you can start from someone else's video. So to start from your picture, you would use something like DID. My name is Louis. So we use the system called DID. There's a lot of other ones. And DID would work in the following way. You would have to upload a picture of yourself, so not a video, so just a picture like this. And from the picture, DID would animate based on the script that, you put in, that you're putting here. But of course, you know, since DID doesn't know your voice, it will just be a random voice. It cannot be my voice. It doesn't know my voice. But you see that starting from a picture makes it very, very quick. It just takes a few seconds. Hello, my name is Hui. 
So it's clearly not perfect yet. At the same time, it's not bad for something that just took a few seconds. Now, if we take the other approach, we start from someone else's video. So here it's, of course, no, it's me, but it's really Jackie Chan behind. And this is how you can create those kind of videos, which you see a lot on, uh, for example, TikTok you know, at the moment. You are all garbage. Okay, so quite fun, no? And uh, for the audio, for the audio, you have two different ways. Either you start from your audio, uh, you provide a recording of yourself, and the AI would learn in order to generate an audio or you start from someone else's audio, why would you want to do it? Usually in order to have, for example, the proper tone or you know, in the way that you speak, sometimes you would want you know, to stop or to ask a question, et cetera, which computers are not very good at doing yet. So you'd start from someone else's audio and the computer, the AI, would just put your voice on top of it. So that's the different ways of generating a deep fake. Now let's look step by step how we can do it. So let's create your own deep fake in order to get a very good video and a very good audio. So that's the objective. How are you gonna do it? There are a lot, a lot of applications out there that create deep fakes in terms of videos and audios. We have tried a lot of them. So within the team, we've tried a lot, a lot of tools at the moment, we mainly use two of them. One which is called HeyGen for the video and Descript for the audio. HeyGen also does audio, but we just prefer Descript for the audio. Uh, there's a lot of other ones that you can use. Synthesia, which we've used in the past, is also very good. A lot are very good. Um, just uh, do your own due diligence and look for the ones that really work for you. We don't have any relationship with either HeyGen or Descript. So do your own due diligence also, for example, in terms of the way that they use data. We haven't really looked deeply into this. So first, the video. How do you do the video? We start with HeyGen. You have to create an account with HeyGen and you would create your free instant avatar. Very simple. What you need for that is a video of more than two minutes of yourself and it will create an avatar. I'll show you. Hey guys, I'm Joshua, co-founder and CEO of HeyGen. So it's an avatar. So what you've just seen is actually an avatar of the CEO. And uh, what you have to do is very simple. I'll show you. I'm starting from this video. So this is a video. Quality is okay. It's not amazing, but this is not the test I wanted to do. So I'll show you. What is even harder is that you see that there's a background which is changing. We'll see what the AI can do with it. So we will upload that video here. It asks for some basic requirements. My footage looks good. And it asks for constant video, which is great, of course, because what you want is to be able to upload your video, but not other people's videos. So it's great to have this kind of system. So I will record my content. We'll have to wait for around 10 minutes and let's have a look at what happens. Okay, so we're almost there. It took around 10 minutes. We're at 99%. And now I have my avatar, which is ready on HeyGen. So I'll show you how it works for the avatar. You see that there's also a lot of standard avatars that you can use. So very, very similar to Zelda that you saw that uh, we're using as a teaching assistant. So my avatar is ready okay. and uh, let's have a look at how it works. So let's create a video, landscape video works. And in order to create my video, I will need to type a text. So, you know, and welcome to this video. Very happy to see you and uh, share this virtual presentation of myself you soon so you can listen to the voice and uh, you'll see in terms of the voice one of the reasons why we hello and welcome to this video i'm 
very happy to see you and share this virtual representation of myself. See you soon. So you see, that's one of the reasons why we don't use the audio of uh, Hey Jen is that it's too good. Uh, I don't have my you know, horrible accent here, so you wouldn't recognize me. So, but first, now let's look at the video. And in order to do that, you need to submit. And again, it's going to take a bit of time, so let's wait a bit. And after that, it will create the video. So let's wait for, I think it's going to take around two minutes. Okay, so with, uh, let's have a look at the video. Hello, and welcome to this video. I'm very happy to see you and share this virtual representation of myself. See you soon. So it's not bad, no? It's not bad. So the voice, no, as I said, no, we don't really like the voice because of the accent. Uh, but if you look at the behavior, if you look at the hand gesture, you know, the, basically the body gesture. Hello, and welcome to this video. I'm very happy to see you and share this virtual representation of myself. See you soon. And look at, for example, the Hello, shadow. And welcome behind. to this video. I'm very happy to see you and share this virtual representation of myself. See you soon. So that was an example of creating a virtual representation of yourself as a video. And that's with HeyGen. So HeyGen actually is free. But if you want to use it, you're likely to have to pay for a monthly subscription. For example, here, $24 per month gives you 15 credits. So it's around $2 per minute of video. So that's one way to create the video. Let's have a look at the audio. So now that we have a good quality video, let's have a look at the audio. So for the audio, we use a system which is called Descript. So in order to use Descript, you have to create an account. Then you will go into Voices. And in Voices, you will have to create a new voice. You see that here, I cannot create a new voice because you need to create to use the desktop app. You need to download the desktop app. And in the desktop app, you, what you will do is to upload an audio of yourself of more than 10 minutes. For example, the one that I will be using is this one. We don't even see here on the graph because Binance has around 65%, two thirds of all the volumes of centralized exchanges. So let's go to the app. And in the app, I will create a new voice. Well, let's call it three. It will ask me to upload my recording. This is what I will be doing here. Once I upload my recording of more than 10 minutes, I will insert it in the script. It will ask to transcribe, so to um, take the voice, translate it into text, so that it has the proper text, we'll have to say that it is in English. And once you have done it, you can submit the training data. So it will train the AI on your data to create a voice similar to yours. So in order to submit the training data, you also have to record a content. Again, this is amazing that they're having this kind of um, uh, this, uh, this system. So record your, uh, record your content and it will take Quite a bit of time, actually. It takes between two to 24 hours to have a voice that works well. So it takes from two to 24 hours. So let's uh, let's do this and see you a bit later. So after 24 hours, I have my voice, which is ready. So let's try it. So in order to try it, you need to go into your projects, create a new audio project. And in the audio project, let's call it test three. And uh, you will want to use a voice, which is in my in the case, my voice, we. And let's write something. Uh, it's amazing. I will be able to create a recording of me without saying anything. And it only takes one minute. OK, let's try. Usually the first time it doesn't work for some reason, I don't know why. So you go back to your projects, you listen to it again, and let's see if it works.
Hopefully it should work this time. It's amazing. I will be able to create a recording of me without saying anything and it only takes one minute. What do you think? That's my real voice. It's amazing. I will be able to create a recording of me without saying anything and it only takes one minute. What does the machine say? It's amazing. I will be able to create a recording of me without saying anything and it only takes one minute. Quite incredible, no? So this is the script. It just takes a bit of time to train your voice, but after that, it's very, very quick. In terms of price, uh, you would have to subscribe because if you take the free version of the script, you can train your voice, but you're limited to a thousand words in terms of what it can say, whereas here you would have unlimited. So all in all, between HeyGen and the script, it costs around $50 per month, but with both of them, you have a very good quality video and a very good quality voice. Again, you know, there are a lot of other systems out there, but what we wanted to show is that technology today is at such a level that anyone can access capabilities to create avatars, deep fakes of themselves for almost no time and almost no money. So let's conclude this video. So let's conclude this video. We've seen very quickly how we use artificial intelligence at CFT. And over the last few years, we have used AI for deep fakes and for avatars. What is very clear is how incredible it has progressed over the last few years in terms of making things so much faster and so much cheaper. We've looked at the different ways of creating those kind of avatars and deep fakes. And today, uh, we're still at a level where you might have to find a different system for the video and a different system for the audio. But from the example that I showed you, in just a few minutes, you can create a quite credible virtual representation of yourself, both in terms of video and audio. So that's incredible in terms of technology, incredible, for example, in terms of creating content or teaching or you know, finding ways to have some kind of bespoke experience you know, for people to learn. So truly amazing. On the other hand, of course, we can think of all the negative impacts it can have from cybersecurity to fraud or intellectual property. In all cases, the technology is here today is very, very easily accessible. It will not stop. So I hope that you like this video and see you very soon. Bye-bye. So were you able to guess which one of us was an AI? Well, here's the real twist. Both versions of me are deep fakes, 100% generated by AI. Isn't it incredible what machines can do? No. It took us less than five minutes to create a realistic AI avatar. At CFTE, we're here to help individuals and corporates not just keep up with digital innovation, but to be at the forefront of driving the digital disruption in the world of finance. If you're eager to dive deeper into the world of AI, check out our latest AI offerings on the top right. Thank you for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed this video.